Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to have a go at this problem. Usually with these, either the base is the same, in which case we can use this top formula here, or the power is the same, and we can use this formula here. In this case, we have different bases and different powers. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to manipulate one of these terms so that either the bases or the powers are the same. And it doesn't matter which one we choose. So let's start by, say, making the powers the same. So to do this, let's take the 40 to the power of 40 and rewrite it as 40 to the power of 20 multiplied by 40 to the power of 20. This is all over 100 to the 20. Is all we've done here is use this formula and just broken it up so we've gone backwards. So we can now rewrite this as 40 to the 20 over 100 to the 20 multiplied by 40 to the 20. When we divide two numbers raised to the same power, we can use this rule. So this becomes 40 over 100, all to the power of 20, multiplied by 40 to the 20. This becomes 2 fifths to the power of 20, multiplied by 40 to the power of 20. And now using this rule here, we get 2 fifths times 40, all to the power of 20. 2 fifths of 40 is 16, so that is 16 to the 20. 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4. All raised to the power of 20. This equals 2 to the power of 4 times 20. which equals 2 to the 80. And that's our answer. The second approach would have been to make the bases the same. So we could have said 40 to the 40 divided by, well, let's change 100 into 40 times 2.5, or 5 over 2. And these are both to the power of 20. So we just use this rule in reverse. We can now use this rule on the 40s to say that 40 to the power of 40 minus 20 all divided by 5 over 2 to the 20. So we end up with 40 to the 20 divided by 5 over 2 to the 20. Again, using this rule here, this now becomes 40 over 5 over 2, all to the power of 20. Or we can rewrite this as 2 fifths of 40 to the power of 20. Is all I've done here is multiply the top and the bottom by 2 fifths. And this then equals 2 fifths of 40 is 16, so it's 16 to the power of 20, which is the same as we had here. So this does equal 2 to the 80. 
and that's it. So just to recap, when you have different bases and different powers, you can either change it so that all the powers are the same, or you can change things so that the bases are the same. Either way, you get the same answer. Hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.